Origin sent us another one. And this time we're gonna check out the Evo 15S. Oh, hey, and they fixed the instructions problem. Origin sent us the Evo 15S. Now, if you wanna check out our review of the Evo 17S or even the preview, which was the earliest version that we did of this video, you can check that out right here. But I always love getting these wooden crates. And so I'm very excited about this specific model. Uh, this and the 14 are probably the ones I've been looking forward to the most. You know, 17s are big, they're hefty, but we were really surprised at how light the 17 was. And now I'm very excited to actually open this up and see how good the 15 is. Now, we would never do this without sharing that with you so we're gonna open the crate together check out the unboxing and actually get this thing opened up and see what we got inside because you know what honestly I don't know what model they sent me what I've got we're gonna find out and then we'll take a look at the specs and stuff with our own our other trusty origin while we're at it so shall we get to unboxing here we go we got a whole tutorial now we're supposed to put it on its face so put it on its face and actually follow the instructions why we wouldn't want to not do what they tell us to do Eight screws later, almost like putting in a motherboard. Ooh, I wonder if that's like on purpose. This is a much smaller brick than what we saw in the Evo 17. You still get your awesome shirt. You get your case and your cover and oh, no way. Oh, these guys, holy crud. This still has like a three dimension to it. So there's actually some texture on there. I don't, I think, I think you can see that right there. Like it is textured. You see like the older one actually has a little bit of lines to it. So there's like, you can see where it actually prints where the other one is much, much smoother. Like this print is so much nicer than this one. And I was so impressed the first time when I saw this one. So that's crazy. There we go, all the connections are now on the back. Let's go through what we got here from a port standpoint. So you've got a micro SD and two USB three on the right. Here's your cooling, cooling on the bottom as well. On the left-hand side, you've got USB 3 mic and headphone, and then you've got your lock, and in the back, USB-C, you got HDMI, you've got network and your power, and everything's off the back. So the unboxing experience is actually very good. I loved the keyboard on the 17, so I'm expecting the keyboard on this one to also be as nice in terms of its feeling and vibe. The pad is super smooth. You just gotta get used to the right and left button here. So we're in control center. Let's go and take a look at our device information to see what we have inside of this one. So this is an RTX 3070 Ti, a 12th gen 12700H, 32 gigs of RAM, and then we've got a one terabyte NVMe SSD. Um, right here, and then there's our CPU usage and all that sort of stuff. So I have the uh, less expensive $2,300 uh, version of this, which is great, so we'll be able to compare this. We've done the 12900H uh, with a 3080 Ti, so this will be a 3070 Ti, we'll have some good numbers there. Uh, and then again, we have 32 gigs of mem memory, so this is the one we're sitting out here, so we'll see what we're, we'll spec it to be like what they have. Um, operating system, we're running probably Windows 11 Home. Uh, we have a one terabyte MP600, so there's that. And then no other storage devices. So as this one is spec, this one is spec just at $2,500. Um, so that's what we're looking at. And actually very comparable to what we have uh, on this one as well. For your lighting settings and stuff like that, it's all done with this very light application and it doesn't run in the background. So you can set everything and not have it run. But looking at them side to side, the screens seem almost comparable. Obviously this is 240 Hertz, so that's gonna be uh, nice to kind of check out. Let's go ahead and just run some temperature checks real quick just to see where things run. We're seeing much better uh, cooling here with things staying at the 85 point and 80 point versus what we saw on the Evo 1700. So obviously we're pushing the CPU to 100% here, uh, but I don't actually expect this to be something that would be a problem when you were basically doing games. I am gonna try this and just go to Turbo. It looks like Turbo, they gave you a little bit more headroom here. So now it's running, it's running at 90, 91. We've unlocked an additional five degrees. We're giving it more room from there. You're still seeing the same amount in terms of thermal throttling, but we are pushing more power. So. Very, very cool to see that button go and do what it's gonna do. And then again, if you want to, you can hit this one more time and go down to office. Pretty cool to see uh, that capability there with the buttons, still a ton of power packed in. And where they saved on is no vapor, changer, vapor chamber cooling. What they're doing is they're actively controlling the profile 
uh, by allowing it to thermal throttle. But if you need that power, it seems like they found a way even using a less expensive throttling mechanism where the core clocks are actually still fairly consistent uh, and then your, uh, your fans are able to keep up with it. Well, anyway, guys, that is it for our unboxing. Just start, again, we're gonna have to put it through its tests. Uh, we'll check the screen, we'll, we'll do it for gaming. We'll also make sure that we run it through thermals and all of that other stuff. But I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Based on this preview, what did you think about the Origin Evo 15S just right out of the box? So tell us your thoughts on that and more. And maybe you guys can win a little cash in the process. First and foremost, you need to leave a quality comment down below along with liking and subscribing to the channel. Now, when I say quality comment, it doesn't need to be positive. It just needs to be something you liked or didn't like about the video, something that surprised you about the laptop or laptops we showed, but just not something like I deserve to win and can I have one of your laptops when you're done. Or, or something else similarly lame. You also need to ensure we have a way to reach you via your YouTube profile, like your email. So please put your email in your YouTube profile because we will be giving away $25 to one lucky comment down below and we notify folks via email and that is absolutely worldwide as long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo. So what are your thoughts on the Evo 15S? I mean, based on what you're thinking from a pricing standpoint, uh, is this something that you might be interested in? And what are some of the things you'd love to see in our review that would be covered to make sure you could make an informed purchase decision? I'd love to know all that and more down in the comments below. Now, while you're down there, make sure you slap that subscribe button, whip that like button, and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we post a new video right here on Ruby Tech. Now, did you know we have a live stream channel as well? That's where we do all of our live builds, um, and sometimes we do some live benchmarking, stuff like that. So check out Roby Tech Live down in the description below so you can like and subscribe to know when we go live. Do you have questions about the Evo 15S or any other tech related questions and check out our amazing Discord server over at discord.gg slash robytech filled with other tech and PC enthusiasts that love to share their thoughts and ideas on these very subjects. Are you looking for cheap tech or maybe some special deals on these laptops? And check out at robytech.com or at robytechdeals on Twitter. We have our guy Tom scouring the internet on best deals on things like tech, PCs, laptops, games, TVs, components, you name it. Finally, you can also follow me and my entire team and all the other socials at Roby Tech absolutely everywhere. We hope you enjoy this video and we super look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thanks guys.